What's up? This bank roll fresh. You right now tuned in to for show sure mad. Keep it locked. Street money worldwide. Believe it. Let's start out by telling the people who bank roll fresh is. Bank roll fresh, young nigga from Atlanta, Georgia, Zone Three, Pittsburgh community to be exact. Um, going hard with this rap shit. CEO, street money worldwide. What's good? All right, life of a hot boy. Yeah, my mixtape. Um. I got 27 tracks on it. I went hard, crazy production. Zaytoven, D. Rich, um, Metro Boomin, Southside, TM, CO. Um, I got a couple tracks on it. Easy the producer. I got a couple tracks on it. 27 bangers at that. My All right. flame. Now you you wanted to give your fans a good a good body of work, you know. Right. Do you feel like you just put 27 songs together, or do you feel that they was really of quality? They were really of quality. Um, they were really of quality, and it they, they kind of showed like a side of my life story. You feel me? Let the listeners just get in and get in tune with my music and feel how kind of like my lifestyle really is. Why did doing. you choose to do so many tracks? Because of the fact, um, I mean, it's a mixtape, man. That's just how music. I mean, that's how I grew up in the nineties, man. So, um, I, I was a big fan of Master P, a real big fan of it. And he had a real impact on this community, as what I say. Um, yeah, he had 26 songs on his, and that was kind of mind blowing to me. And I'm like, dang, they gave a lot of music away, but it was more for your money. So I wanted people to get more of me. You feel me? Uh -huh. Just a mixtape. Okay, you a street artist, right? I, but, I'm just, I'm a big artist. I'm, I'm just from the street, right? But you like making party music. How did you? Yeah. How do you manage to? make like a hybrid of the two where you can make like street party music you feel me i mean i just really just it go on the, the beat and my emotions or how i feel you feel me because if i like it i mean I, I can just mix it all in i can talk about the streets or how i'm living over these kind of up tempo beats or whatever kind of beats that i'm choosing at the time mm -hmm. so that's why i just keep it all like the same Momentum. Okay, let's talk about your relationship with uh, Zay Tobin. Um, Zay Tobin is a good friend of mine. I've been knowing him for years. I've been doing him for years. Um, good friend of mine, super producer. At that um, I met him actually uh, a couple years back. Probably I want to say like 2006, mm -hmm. like 2006, 2005, one of those years. Um, he was working real hard with Gucci And then I was always a student Just sitting there Liking his production Like how he made the beats And then you know One thing led to another We just grew bigger And best friends One of my best friends Alright You've been in a few movies Zay's over movie I was in yeah. uh, It's another superstar rapper Well uh, A superstar rapper His name is Pile from the Franchise Boys He have a movie Called The Trap uh -huh. it's, a big, it's a big movie On Hood Little movie Classic I'm uh -huh. in mean it It's a good movie man Um, So you know I'm trying to get over into that I'm just bouncing around However it come I ain't playing with them Alright Birds of a Feather Was big right. So how did that Actually come about With you getting in that Um, Just you know Around Zay And he seen something in me man And then I was just at the right place at the right time. And he seen my drive, my grind. He knew I had the potential, the career was more about myself. And then he just ran with it. He stuck me in, I, yeah, I fit good with the scene, and it was A1. I had a lot of people, you know what I mean, calling me up about movies, and a lot of people calling me like, oh, I seen you in a movie, man, that's a good look. I think you should do more movies. So, you know, one thing led to another. All right, your new single that's out, Hot Boy, you right. know. Hot boy, hot like a hot boy. How that come about? Uh, it was produced produced by Cash J. He was a super producer. Me and him was in the studio vibing and just messing with the beat and made a hit. And it was about it's it's the biggest song in the country right now, number one. If you not you haven't heard it, in, in some, it's impossible for you not to have heard it actually because it's that one. Like, it's a, it's a lot of people make good music, but one thing about it, that's a hit. Mm -hmm. Like. Fuck all the playing, all that bubblegum shit. It's not about that. That is a hit. That motherfucker is number one right now. And if it's not number one in your city, vote it to be number one. Street money worldwide. Bankroll fresh, motherfucker. If you never seen me, you see me here before. Your motherfucking eyes. All right. Now, you said earlier, you know, 
Master P had an influence. Now you, you, uh, you got the uh, uh, DP nigga. You, you got the Hot Boy single. Yeah. Uh, so Louisiana had a, a a nice little influence on your your music. Kind of. I mean, I want to say on my music. Like I said, like they. They block is similar to how my block was. I just put it like that. That just like how they was living. That's how I'm living right now. And that's how my hood is right now. And it have been that way since the earlier time. Like they probably know of my hood. Like it is what it is. But like I, I like the high cash money. I well, I'm gonna say the hot boys. I like the how they stunt. I like how they stunt. And that's what kind of the same shit that I'm doing. I'm balling now before a deal, no deal, balling whips, coops, cribs, and the crew good. Like this, how we living right now. <laughs> so All it's right, kind of like the same thing, man. And it's just a bunch of young, positive black men sticking together, unifying the whole community at the young, well, the young black community who, you know what I mean, who marching to get money like we is, you know what I mean? And we taking over the whole goddamn world. That's what it is. And like I said, Hot Boy is the number one record in the country.